The following interview was conducted with Joseph I. Elgamile, Professor Emeritus of Industrial Engineering for the Purdue University Oral History Program. This is part two. It took place Wednesday, uh, September the 9th, 2010 at his residence. Also sitting in is his wife, Teresa. The interviewer is Catherine Marquis, the Oral History Librarian. Welcome, Professor Elgamile. Let's pick up where Thank we you. left off, Thank and we're going to talk about your sabbaticals. Thank you. Mm -hmm. My pleasure. I, uh, I remember I attended a conference in uh, 1986 somewhere, and a professor from uh, University of Ohio met me and said, we want somebody to be a visiting a professor for a year. So I, uh, at that time, Dr. Lime Kohler wrote the head, so I took his permission and I went on a sabbatical as a visiting professor at the uh, University of Ohio. I really enjoyed my stay there. University of Ohio is uh, smaller than Ohio State. Isn't that the one in Athens, Ohio? In Athens, Ohio. Ohio. Right. But uh, we had a very nice stay there. They gave us a good furnished apartment in one of the buildings belonged to the university. And after we finished, I came back to Purdue and for a whole year, uh, Dr. Lime Kohler asked me to study and submit a proposal to the federal government about establishing a graduate student in industrial engineering in the University of Jordan, in Amman, Jordan. And I spent about all the, all the time during that year preparing the proposal with the help of Jim, by the way. Jim helped me. And we submitted our proposal for $7 million for three years. Uh, for, or unfortunately, we did not uh, accept Western Electric. Uh, they have nothing to do with in education, but they got the uh, bid. They, they submitted their project for $4 million. I'm mentioning that because it was interesting. I got a phone call from somebody who said, I am from Western Electric, and would you like to go as a professor in the University of Jordan to establish that new graduate school. <laughs> and I told him, I, I was your rival. How come you want to send me there? He said, I send you there because we read the proposal from you. Anyway, <clears throat> I accepted the mission and we uh, traveled, Teresa and I, to Amman, Jordan, and we started with uh, another professor from New Mexico who started building Arun. their Arun, yeah, Arun. their school of industrial engineering graduate school. And I spent almost three years. Every year I got an extension from Professor Lamb Kohler to stay one more year. And really, we enjoyed uh, stay our stay there, teaching there, uh, establishing new lab. As a matter of fact, one of, of main uh, assignment was to develop a new manufacturing lab, and I did, and I bought for them about two million dollar worth of equipment, hmm. and. Uh, we stayed there uh, every year. I asked for extension, and then uh, the uh, uh, Iraq War, the Desert yeah. Storm War, started, and unfortunately, Jordan sided with Iraq in the war. So the uh, American consulate contacted us and said, you have to leave the country in two weeks. Otherwise, we're going to come and pick you up. 
<laughs> so uh, we had to finish our mission. We uh, collected our stuff and so on. And we came back to the United States. Uh, we established the school. We established the program. The Did you build it? Was it? Do you have to? Were you involved in the construction? No, oh. no. They have it. They have the school already okay. of industrial engineering, and they have huge buildings and so on. Uh, but my, like I said, my main mission is to uh, buy equipment. Uh, to establish in a, a manufacturing lab and I bought I bought several things for them unfortunately we have to come to the states uh, yeah because uh, they, uh, we have to leave the country in what, was, fact, what was life like over there did you live close to campus and yeah. yes oh. yes uh, we rented the house and it was across the street from campus mm. and uh, life is like here if it were the same thing as here you know i bought a same. mercedes car a used one yeah. it was a very nice car people respected us really because you know, coming from the states these are coming here to help us and uh, unfortunately i couldn't wait till all the equipment to arrive because we have to leave. The big problem really is that I left my Mercedes car. Yeah. I couldn't get it. Uh, and I lost it. Uh, but uh, after I came here, uh, Western Electric w were still the, uh, running the program, asked me to visit the different companies uh, from which we bought equipment. So uh, that was another assignment I did while I was here. I had to go to New Jersey. I had to go down to uh, Arizona. Uh, and I uh, inspected all the equipment which I really asked for. And uh, I did not know when they went to uh, Jordan and did not know the status now because we f I finished my work with them. Mm -hmm. But that was some good experience, really, uh, teaching. Who was, the, who was the king at that time, the, the father of... King the uh, Hussein, Hussein, the right, father. Hussein. Right. And and every the person. interesting thing, his wife is American. Yes. yes. Halabi. Right. TWA. 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 Yes, right. yes. She lives in Virginia now, I think. Really? Uh, it was interesting that we used to see her once in a while they at a place a like uh, McDonald's. She used to bring her uh, children to go, and we saw her next on she the table next to us uh, at McDonald's. It wasn't McDonald's, she it was, was something easy. else. You know what I mean? Very simple. She was really very, very humble lady yeah. and uh, I saw and attractive yes I saw King Hussein several times because in every graduation they make uh, we used to sit in the front line and he used to come and give the degrees to the honor student and I saw his brother and I uh, talked with him and uh, when King Hussein passed away Everybody was expecting that his brother is going to be in his place, except uh, the news came that uh, his son, who at that time was, I think, about 18 years old, became the king. Mm -hmm. And nobody heard about the brother anymore. <laughs> and, you know, up to now, his son is the king. Right. King Abdullah, I think. Yeah, that's that was his, the, his son who took over, was it? Jordanian. His wife was Jordanian. Yes, his wife was uh, Palestinian, but his mother is the American lady, so they call her the Queen Mother. Mm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so these are the two assignments I had as a visiting professor. Uh -huh. One year in the University of Ohio, and three years uh, in Amman, Jordan. 
Did you come? Uh, did you have vacations? Could you come back uh, at the end of each year, or how did that work? Or did you stay over there for the three years? I stayed there for three years. No, I did not we come back, sorry, but okay. she came back okay. several times. Okay. Did, were the children with you? No. Oh, they came, they, they came and visited us. Oh. They were grown up. Okay. They came and visited us. Uh, our daughter came, and, and our son came. They were together, or they were together. Yeah. Okay. And other people came visiting us, friends of Teresa. Because Ramsey was working, I think, uh, in, in Dallas, Texas. Yeah, and he was not supposed to get go to go to what call it uh, on trips because he was. They were at the time they had uh, um, the army. They were building things for them because they were ready he for the war. Excuse me. He was working in a in a company makes armament for the United States. Oh, so your son. Our yeah. son. Oh, yes. They allowed him to go because of that. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, uh, but he what came. was the what's the climb uh, the uh, enrollment of the school? Is it primarily? Uh, People, students from Jordan, or do they have others as well? They have uh, some students from Palestine. Okay. But uh, the majority are Jordanian. Do they, do they live on campus or they commute? No, no, no. no. Amman is the capital. All right, I know. And uh, uh, majority of them live in Amman or in small city around Amman. So they can get back and forth? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. But we were very respected there. Really, honestly, they were. They liked us a lot because we were Christian too. The majority was Christian there. No, not the majority well, was Christian. Well, a great proportion kind of, of them. Did right. The majority were well. Muslim. Yeah, but, but they we were did. some Christian, and yeah. we find we an interesting there. thing. We had a maid. What about church over there for you? We had a maid in our house. She's from the Philippines. And she had a degree in economics from the Philippines, so she's a college graduate, but looks like they don't have any opportunity. So she came to Jordan and became our maid. Uh, and we knew she's Catholic, so we asked her uh, what kind of churches we can go to. She directed us to a church, and I drove my car, we went there, it turned out that uh, it's a Filipino church, and they uh, conducted the mass in Filipino language, and so really we did not enjoy it much. Yeah, the majority of the people are from the Philippines. Oh. Well, the, yeah, it is made for the. There are too many Filipino there. Anyway, after that we found a uh, Catholic church, mm -hmm. and uh, Teresa was very much involved in the choir. But in fact, she she ran the choir for them, and I was also a reader and an usher. We enjoyed our stay in that church. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, yeah. that's nice. What next thing I guess you were going to mention was about the scholarship. The that's a new thing. That's nice. Yes. Well, what happened is that I got a letter from Doctor Pickney saying that. Uh, <coughs> Dr. Uh, Zachariah uh, gave us $25,000 and to have a scholarship for IE under your name. And really that was very interesting to me because uh, Dr. Zachariah was, like I said, the, uh, my first doctor degree student and uh, up to now, mm -hmm. we are very good friends together, and uh, yeah. uh, Teresa was very influential oh, in getting him to marry his wife, Susan. Oh, when they were halfway, they liked to be. Yeah. Well, they spent a couple of days here with us when they were newly married, and then they left. She's very Catholic, very, and her children graduated from here, and she still... They're still energetic and the church and stuff like that. So they were very mm. nice. Yeah, one one of uh, their she ha they have two daughter. One of their daughter graduated yes. from Purdue, degree in chemical engineering, and then went to University of Michigan, 
got a degree in lawyer, being a lawyer. And she's a lawyer now in yeah. Detroit, Michigan. The other one, uh, I don't know, went to school and just got her PhD in psychology. Mm. But the uh, young lady who was here at Purdue studying chemical, mechanic, no, chemical engineering, uh, we got to know her and she was visiting us and she went to church. She was, she was the president of the Catholic students at Purdue. And her parents were worried because she was involved in the Catholic thing. They said, no, she was going to become a nun and they were afraid. But then after this, they came to introduce themselves if they liked it. So they were easy. She's a lawyer now and she has two children. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, does she have anything to do with I really church? don't know what happened to the scholarship. Uh, sure the only said. thing I know is, like I said, Dr. Pickney sure. wrote me well, a letter. Not have a, oh, sometimes they don't award those things until spring or whatever. I don't know what happened, yeah, really. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how about a Purdue tradition? Do you have a Purdue tradition that you kind of sticks in your mind that's sort of a favorite? I don't know. Uh, athletics, perhaps? No, I wasn't involved with an athletic. Well, you attended uh, Purdue I football. I attended yeah. Purdue football, and sure. she attended Purdue basketball girl. Okay. You were very interested in that. Well, all right, well, oh, that's good. Games. Every that's good. game you went to. That's yeah, nice. I missed one. How about uh, an outstanding event? No, really, we... Uh, I don't think we have anything outstanding uh, except our children. There you go. Both of them graduated from Purdue. Uh -huh. Our son graduated from IE in 1986, I think. And our daughter graduated from Supervision uh, five years earlier. Uh -huh. And matter of fact, uh, she was my student uh, because she minored in industrial engineering. And also our son uh, was my student in a couple of courses. And uh, our daughter husband also uh, graduated from industrial engineering and he was my student. And I remember one time uh, my daughter came to my office and mm -hmm. said, Dad, there is a student in your class, you gave him a B, and he said he deserved an A. <laughs> I said, what's in it for you, Dina? She said, who is my boyfriend? Well, six months after that, she came to her mother and said, uh, we're getting married. That same boy. Because he was going to move to somewhere else, somewhere else. said, Mom, either you get married or I'm going to go and live all week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Excuse we don't want. So he got, he got married. He graduated from Purdue. He went to work in Dallas and he joined uh, Southern Methodist University to get a master's degree. And uh, after while he was there, he got another job in Atlanta. So he left Dallas, did not finish his master degree, but he went to Atlanta and joined the uh, Georgia Tech. And he used to ask me questions about some graduate courses, and I used to contact the professors in charge at IE. And finally, he got a master degree, but because... Uh, he uh, studied more courses in Southern Methodist. He was granted his master's degree from Southern Methodist. And uh, then after that, he got a diploma from, I don't know, from where in New York City. And interesting thing about my son is that being an industrial engineer and having a master's degree in industrial engineering his last job, which he started maybe now, he's been there for about, what, 10 years, mm -hmm. is in insurance company. In what? Insurance <laughs> company. Uh, it's the third largest 
insurance company and uh, he got promoted and promoted till now he is regional vice president of the company our daughter has a, another interesting story she went with her husband and he he got a job in uh, Dallas Texas and she joined Texas. a company by the name of Sonoco product and uh, for 25 years she and her husband moved about five times the company oh, yeah. send her different uh, plant the company has about 180 plant so they moved her and every move it's a promotion and the interesting thing is that every time she got a promotion her husband has to mm -hmm. resign his job and join her and hopefully in the new city he can get a job he did not succeed much in uh, Florida when they moved to Florida was it to Florida they left when she got married to him? I don't think so. No, they went to Dallas and then I don't know where else. I couldn't find her. Uh, she, uh, they, they settled in Florida for some time. She settled in Cincinnati for another time. Uh, and finally, she got a job as a plant manager in uh, Wausau, Wisconsin where they are now and her husband fortunately got a job as a uh, chief engineer in a uh, company in Wausau, Wisconsin so they are enjoying their stay there her daughter now is a student at the University of Wisconsin Ashkosh campus <laughs> and her daughter yeah. is thinking of moving to Milwaukee to go to the main campus, I think. Whatever he used to, they used to buy a house right in the middle of the city because his wife used to move every time they move. He has to follow her, so he doesn't have a job every time. So I said, "Will you stop moving? Because I have to, you know, I have to settle somewhere, someplace, you know, where I am." But uh, they're in good. I mean, they're fine together. It's working out, right? Yeah. Okay. It's just, yeah. Yeah. I think in, uh, in closing, anything in some things that I forgot to ask or and just some views on industrial engineering. I, I, I hate to say maybe I remember something okay. I call on you. No, I, I hope not. Okay. I think that's it for me. Okay. <coughs> we want to thank you very much, Professor Okamala right. and Teresa. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you.